it's something uh, quite odd to discuss uh, artificial intelligence after a uh, heavy lunch. French fusion is accepted and appreciated everywhere in the world. Whether it is dance, whether it is music, whether it is a combination like this. Imagine what would have happened without stethoscope. So why not to combine clinical medicine with digital technology and give the best part of it. This is briefly about me and I don't have any disclosures. For everybody of you, please don't take down any photographs. Concentrate on my last slide. There is an email ID. I'm going to give this presentation to you. This is your presentation. This is not my presentation. And for the next 15 minutes, you are going to listen to a very, very concentrated stuff. And I'm sure either you might not have seen this type of things in your life, or you might not have imagined in these things of this type. Why digital technology? What is the use of artificial intelligence in clinical medicine? Number one, saves time, saves earns money, reduces the burden of travel, trouble, torture, and waiting time for all our patients. And what about you? What about all of us? It increases serum levels of confidence, competence, enthusiasm, and mostly acceptability. I'm very happy to see people who are around the age of 50, 60 in this group. Actually, they need to adopt technology much more faster. Friends, everybody will agree that healthcare, patient care is a complex process. It is sensitive and it is high risk activity. Patients come with different symptoms, doctors spot the patterns, identify the variation from the normal, manage the disease with different treatment options, sensitive and high risk, huge variation in disease presentation. One HIV can present in a different way, another can different way. Human beings' capacity is challenging for all specialties. So AI is not only for clinical medicine, AI is there for all the process. So is the process very complex? I don't think so. Disease prevention, disease diagnosis and treatment and rehabilitation of various diseases and various professionals have got a standard way of going down. Doctors undergo extremely rigorous training in honing the clinical knowledge, skills, and individual experiencing with the patients. So the question is asked, if the things are so variable, can a digital algorithm will help you? Basically, we are all intelligent. All the medical professionals are intelligent, nourished by experience and by mentoring. So I won't call it as an artificial intelligence. I will call it as an augmented intelligence. Now let us go back to the streets or to some 40 years back when you had this kind of uh, dabba telephones where you used to dial. And now you have got a whole world in your hand. Your desktop is gone, your laptop is gone, nothing is there, one smartphone is sufficient. But there are obstacles. What are the obstacles? Number one, time frame, learning. WhatsApp learning school kabhi dekha hai kya? How you have learned WhatsApp? You need to be more attentive. You have to have a learning capacity, avoid distraction. The patient should not feel that the computer in front of, on your table is a competition, but it is a com companion. And it, at the same time, it is just a, not an ornament or not a, a just uh, a decoration piece. It is up to us to change our mindset into that. Friends, artificial intelligence is all around you. What mobile you are looking, my wife is in Nasik for a pediatric conference. She knows that I am in Vizac delivering this lecture. My son in Germany knows that what are the things are going on. So let us go from 12 o'clock position. Number one, diagnosis of disease. Medical image diagnosis. Drug discovery. Personalized medicine. Let us, all of us dream together that my cancer patient will not lose a single hair. My cancer patient will never have glossitis, stomatitis. I will have a drug, I will have a device which will work only on the malignant cells. This is personal medicine. Medical robots, medical robots are going to be the part of the future. Electronic health records, everybody is using it. Clinical trials, clinical trials are going to be obsolete. There is something going to be lab on a chip, which will take the blood sample of the person, 
the drug in nano quantities and it will tell you what are the likely to be the problems associated with. Outbreak prediction, everybody is very, very, very keen that you don't want to face another second corona. And again, back with that outbreak prediction, we go to the clock turns to the uh, normal place and diagnosis of diseases. Is it a very new thing? It, AI is a, a, as old as me, 1956. John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence in the first AI and United Nations conference. What it is? Friends, it uses computers and machines to process, to simulate human intelligence. It performs complex automated tasks. Check the example of the conveyor belt. If conveyor belt would have not have been there, you would not be driving a car on the road. It seeks to reflect the abilities of the human mind. AI enabled machines are also capable of exceeding in number of ways. It is the speed which matters. How many of us, suppose we are 100 people here, how many pages we can read about one rare disease? Particularly by shifting to the large volume of big data, efficiently to order, to identify patterns, anomalies, trends, and finally the treatment. Imagine, identify the patterns, anomalies, trend, and treatment, that is all possible uh, with AI in a very, very faster way. Now, there are four major healthcare uses of artificial intelligence. Disease diagnosis, developing drug faster, personalizing treatment, and improved gene editing. This is absolutely exciting. There will be not a single person of hemophilia or sickle cell anemia in the world if this CRISPR technique works. What does this CRISPR technique does? This is called as a clustered, regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeats is the name for CRISPR. There is a system called as a Cas9. It can edit gene cost effectively and precisely like a surgeon so the defective list, the gene has gone and the patient is free of that disease forever. This is a whole spectrum. This is a whole spectrum of current applications of AI and, and machine learning. And what is the most important thing? Analysis. For analysis, what you know? What you need is the data. And please believe data is the currency of the next year, next generation. I am using four gadgets on my body right now. The data which is generating, that is going to help me to improve my physical capacity. These are lot many new terms which you will uh, know. That is ML. What is ML? It is machine learning. What is DL? Deep learning. And there are lot many other things. It just uses the same concept, how we are taught how to take a history, how to go for examination, how to interpret investigation. So these are the something called as the artificial neuronal networks. So please remember, AI is nothing. AI is machine learning, deep learning, and artificial neural learning. You must have seen this machine. Alive car, cardia, mobile, six lead ECG, one lead ECG, which is the first instrument which has been uh, clear by FDA. If I got a patient of acute myocardial infarction recovering six weeks, he has got a ventricular tachycardia. I will be detected, I will be alarmed with this. And it can check the heart in 30 seconds. No battery, no wire, no jelly. And for the same patient, if you need Holter monitoring, this is available. This is, I am using day in and day out. 6,000 rupees for seven days halter. Very cheap. If you have got some contacts in Israel, go and get this watch. This is like a private detective for you, but it will improve your life. And if you have got 79,890 rupees within your pocket, and if you want to spend, get this ring. This is called as an Aura Smart Ring. It is for fitness, stress, sleep, and health. What does it do? It picks up the signals and gives you the right commands. What all can be monitored? A cricket team of signals can be monitored in our body. And there is going to be a dabba, my signals in the center, and then you ask for anything. You can prepare a lie detector, you can prepare any instrument, you can prepare a, a sleep monitoring system with this. And these are going to be do-it-yourself kits for now. So there is no company which is going to manufacture it. You buy and you order for anything. 
friends how do you think and can we augment our thinking so decision making increase accuracy solving complex problems but at the same time higher level of computation that computation has to be at such a level that there are very 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 few chances of making an error Er error reduction is one of the greatest boon of artificial intelligence so the four umbrellas i told you it is an umbrella that covers variety of distinct but interrelated process these are not separate processes they are all interrelated you have got a fitbit in your hand and it tells you at the end of the day 10000 steps you have walked so there is something called as a narrow ai there is something called as a general ai and there is called as super ai we are in between general and narrow so the real boss is yet to arrive machine learning what it does pattern recognition imagine there are thousand cats in this room and there is only one tiger just one scan and it will pick up the tiger deep learning natural language processing the world is one is not a new channel but the any natural language who is speaking by the phonetics it will be interpreted in the language what you want i got an example in front of you you have got a google translate you go anywhere in the world put that word in google translate and tells you back into your natural language and most important robotic process automation robots are going to be of great help for everything machine learning this is a training algorithm using data sets health records to create models capable of performing such tasks as a categorizing information or predicting outcome it may tell that you are likely to be likely to have a hypoglycemia i am wearing a uh, uh, sensor which is available in the exhibition hall and it has told me that if I, I, the, your sugars are reaching 70 it's time for you to have lunch so these are different muscle uh, machine learning experiences suppose somebody has done a crime and he is driving a black tesla and is in the next square identify the black tesla at this signal can be done with the help of machine learning what are the deep learning it is a subset of machine learning but it have great value of work and never tire they don't sleep only it is the produces neural networks capable of co more complex job and this is one where you can have a real time behavior analysis and it can do a server optimization nlp it is uses machine learning to understand human language whether it is verbal or written in healthcare nlp is used to interpret documentation notes reports audio notes clips videos and publish research so these are the important ways whatever advertisements you get on your mobile they are of the nlp robotic process automation to automate administrative and clinical workflow to improve the patient experience and the daily function and it is a self improving process in geriatrics there is a robo if you are falling down the robo becomes a very strong man and he holds up you and keeps you in a seat or your bed there is something like a clinical decision support system i am going to take you back to 2009 it was a havoc news in the in, in uh, the country in india we will not have any hiv patient my teacher dr r d lele just took five sentences middle aged male undergone cabg eight transfusion before february 2009 weight loss high grade fever loose motions not responding to the routine treatment and tap came the answer transfusion induced hiv it was a shock to the country this is clinical decision support system and this we are getting every on all the apps which we are having ai develops drugs faster that's called as a lab on chip don't ask this question where is the radiology department radiology department is in the cloud and what is the branch it is called as a tele radiology it is a branch of telemedicine in used to transmit images from one location to another huge work you everybody must have seen how the ct scans were during my friend dr amit kharat has got a, a organization called a deep, deep trek so what he does he is attached to 200 hospitals in this world and imaging centers helping governments and others thing to diagnose tuberculosis just a feed a chest x ray and he will tell you there is something called as a genki it is a ai powered public health screening solution 
It is an AI plus expert in the loop, and it shows an end-to-end -end imaging flow. If you send him an image, he has to give some diagnosis. He will not say, I don't know. These are the three classical highlights, classify, localize, and quantify. And we will be in a position to eliminate tuberculosis, and in addition, it concurs 17 different pathologies. All the 17 different pathologies will be covered. Will you ask me why I have said unclassified? That doesn't cover hydrated cyst. So there is something else. If you feel like hydrated cyst, that is the pattern seven. Now you must know this word, Watson. This is from IBM. I will not go into the details because it is better that you experience it on the net. It combines AI and sophisticated analytical software and the processing speed is absolutely super fast, 80 teraflops. And it, it can read 200 million pages within the shortest possible time to give a result out of it. It processes against 6 million logic rules. What are the key components? Apache, distributed component, and SUSE. It has got 280 processor cores. Can you imagine how fast it is? And it has got a 15 terabytes of RAM. Our mobile has got only 4 or 5 GB of RAM. 500 gigabits of process information. And it combines NLP, machine learning, and with different combinations. This is the digital diagnostics. This, there is one branch which has been maximally benefited with this is medical oncology with the help of. Forget oncology, radiology. Pathology, electronic transmission of digital images for diagnostic consultation. Need not go to Boston or need not go to San Francisco. My own niece from in Kolapur, this is her lab. The child is playing around and she is sitting in the lab and doing her telepathology, teleradiology work as an oncosurgeon. Teleophthalmology, go and visit the stall. You will get your AI-based report of whether you have got it. A, any diabetic retinopathy now. The big question is asked by everybody. Is AI going to replace doctors? It is very unlikely that it will, will replace doctors outright. AI systems will be used to highlight potentially malignant lesions, dangerous cardiac patterns for the expert, allowing the doctors to focus on interpretation of these signals. But one thing is certain. AI will replace the doctors who do not use AI. It is 100%. So start adopting technology. If you don't adopt technology, you will be definitely replaced. Don't be VP. Rona nahi. Mujhe abhi kaisa karne ka ye kya mujhe malum nahi hai. If you have grandchildren in the house now, unko pakdo chocolate de do. They are the best teachers. AI will never replace human doctors or clinicians. It can never replace empathy. Physicians have a non-linear working model. Complex digital technologies require competent professionals and there will be always be tasked algorithms and robots can never be complete unless you examine the patient. So these are the pros and these are the cons. It reduces human error, never sleeps, never gets bored, it is fast. Cons, it is costly, it can duplicate human creativity, people can become overtly reliant on it. So this is another cricket team of technologies beyond uh, AI and apps that needs a separate half, an, uh, half a day workout on the, and this is what the blockchain and healthcare technology is going to do. There are going to be a lot of new things. The future anatomy halls will be non-smelling. You will be using augmented or virtual reality. Just go look through the Google map and it will tell you where is the McDonald's or where is the dosa chap. Or, or, and coming last, that will be the glimpse of the future. It is artificial intelligence, blockchain, cloud computing, data mining, electronic health record, future readiness, and don't forget 5G. These are the patient simulators for the examination as well as procedures. There is something called as a mixed reality or immersive reality. This gentleman is drilling a bone, but he gets a feel of what the bone he is drilling. Virtual reality, and the gear is called as oculus. I have experienced this in the Kolkata conference of Bengal API. And you can practically lift a skeleton from here, lever from there, and you can feel the organs with your fingers. And this is something absolutely great. Abolish the word plagia in your dictionary. 
नो पैराप्लेजिया वन मिनट नो पैराप्लेजिया नो हेमी प्लेजिया नो क्वाड्री प्लेजिया दिस इज ए पर्स दिस इज अ बॉय हु इज अ क्वाड्री प्लेजिक ही इज वेरिंग समथिंग कॉल्ड एज एक्सोस्केलेटन एंड दैट मैप द हेलमेट ही हैज गॉट ही कैन थिंक एंड ही कैन वॉक सपोज देर इज अ कॉफी मशीन देयर इफ ही थिंक दैट आई वॉन्ट टू हैव कॉफी ही विल you look to this because there are sensors which are on his head which are there are powerful muscles which are going to help him with the supporting helping the goggles which you are seeing they are called as the google glasses digital biological twinning is going to be the keyword take any metabolic disorder and you have got a digital twin non fungible tokens nft if you want you can start in your hospital if your patient has a fantastic diabetes control tell him that i am going to give you 500 nfts so that you will get a 50% concession in your next work up so this is they are going to be uh, blockchain assisted devices and the future is going to be full with all this there is going to be electronic skin which can monitor your sodium potassium the pendant what you see is a, actually a fall detector and the waste you are seeing here that waste is a holter monitor actually and a man's reach should exceed his grasp that is what robert browning said and we should always try to reach to the best friends who is going to benefit with all of this everybody medical professional at all ages from students to deans vice chancellors to medic of medical college actually they are my students in my digital class investors startup entrepreneurs to the point practical subjects and everything is available on net i can't forget my 1974 batch of mirz medical college i am a very old model and my teacher dr r d lele professor s v soltour and my techno savvy family which allows me a concession of 80 days every year to turn around to talk about technology in the country and abroad so i just end with this friend of mine stay hungry stay foolish at the same time stay ignorant ready to learn stay idiotic to pretend that you don't know this grandchildren are the best examples they are teachers good return it is a good return on their investment it can same thing we can do from your students learning technology is the only proven vaccine and treatment for fitness and your prevention of alzheimer if you want this presentation this is email id very simple to remember sv kulkarni 1955@redefmail.com please learn identify entrepreneur within yourself innovate incubate integrate invest in it infrastructure srinivas uh, murthy must be here around he has heard me when he was a student 40 years back so you need a passion for this and you will definitely get benefited so friends finally please be optimistic please be informed empowered futuristic build a bridge of knowledge clinical acumen experience artificial intelligence and technology in your clinical practice you will be immensely benefited by the way this is the longest bridge in the country 23.8 kilometers connecting navi mumbai and mumbai and my uh, this is just in front of my home so next time when you will come to mumbai you will be in a position to fast uh, travel faster Thank you very much.